just a few steps, we're gonna make an animated end credits that looks very clean and professional. We're not gonna to have to go through fusion or even play with keyframes for that matter. All we need is the list of people and their roles, as well as any logos that we wanna add into this end credits. All right, so those are the end credits that we're gonna be creating here. And as you can see, it's a separate element here that we can easily move around if we need to reposition the timing. And so to do this, we're actually going to be making another timeline. So I'm just going to delete this and we're gonna start from scratch here. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up our media pool. We're gonna right click in here and go to timelines, create new timeline. And from here, we can name this whatever we want. And then once we have it created, it typically jumps right in. But if you're not sure if you're in the right timeline, right here at the top, we can hit the little drop down and it'll show the different timelines that we have available. So we're currently in the credits timeline. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the effects library and we're gonna come into titles and then we're just going to get the normal text, not the text plus, just normal text. We'll add that on. Once we have it added in, we'll click on it and come over here into our inspector and just make sure that we're on titles. And now we can type in the person's name and their role. So I'll put the role first. And then their name. And then from here, we're just going to style this however we want it to look. So I'm just going to highlight the top name and change the font and maybe change the size of it. All of the fonts here are just fonts that are installed on your computer. So if you want to add different fonts in, you could go online, how to install fonts. It's a little different if you're on uh, Mac, Windows, or Linux. And there's a bunch of free fonts on like Google Fonts. So you could take a look at that. Uh, but that's a little outside the scope of this video. So the next is we're just going to take this particular title that we have here and we're just going to duplicate this. And so to do this, we're going to hold down Alter Option and then drag and we make a duplicate. So we'll now we'll scroll our mouse over to here, so, or excuse me, our playhead over to here so that we can see this one and we're just going to change the role and then the person as well. And you can see that it automatically copied over all the styling since we made a duplicate of it. So we'll just continue doing this for however many people that you want to show in your credits. I'm just gonna do one more. And then once I'm done with that, we can now move on to the next step. But because I don't have that many here, I'm just gonna duplicate these so it looks a little more realistic. Whoops, I'll just come back. Next, we have to select everything here and the easiest way to do this is hold down Command or Control and then hit A and it'll select everything here. We're gonna follow that up by changing the duration of the titles that we have here. So we're gonna hold down Command or Control and hit D for duration. And how this duration works is it's first frames, then seconds, minutes, and hours. And so I'm gonna change this five to a three and then hit Enter. And it'll change all of them to three seconds now. The next thing that we're gonna do, it doesn't have a default uh, shortcut, so we have to go into the menus. So let's go up to Edit and down to Delete Gaps and then I'll delete all of the gaps that we have there. We're gonna follow that up by adding in a transition. And we first have to set up our transition by default, or the default transition that we wanna use, so we can use a keyboard shortcut instead of adding them in individually. So we'll come up here to Video Transitions, and we're gonna come into Dip to Color, right-clicking on that and set as Standard Transition. And we can see the little line there. And now we can hit Control or Command T, and it'll automatically add it on to all of our uh, elements down there. Because we have everything selected, and as if we could look up here, it says multiple titles, we can simply scroll over or go over to settings and then come down to dynamic zoom, and then we'll hit swap. Now, if we take a look at this, we have our titles here. The one other thing that you might wanna add in here are logos. And so if we wanna add logos in, I can quickly show you how to do that. I made a mock logo here in here. I'll just grab my logo and add the logo onto the end. 
because we didn't do all the stuff to this one yet, we still have to do it. So command or control D to change the duration. We'll change this to three seconds. You could really make this any length that you want. And then I'll come in here and I'll click on this particular transition and then just hit delete, highlighting these two, command or control T, and then it'll automatically add that on. We can click on this logo here and turn on dynamic zoom and swap. And so now it'll go all the way through to our logo and show it. One thing that you'll notice is my logo is a little too big. So clicking on the logo itself, I can hit the zoom and zoom it down. It's still gonna have its animation in there, but uh, it's now zoomed down uh, to be more realistic with the size of everything else there. Once we're happy with how this looks, we can simply come up here and go to our primary timeline or look for our primary timeline over here and just clicking in it. And then we're back to where we started out with our project. From here, we can just go into our credits timeline and add that on to our project right at the end or wherever you want it to be. And so we've just created some end credits without using any keyframes or going into fusion or anything like that. And they look really clean and professional. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want to know more about DaVinci Resolve, I have a whole website dedicated to it, a bunch of different courses that you can take as well as pre-made assets. Speaking about pre-made assets, if you want some free titles, I also have those as well on the website. And with that being said, I think I'm done with this one. My name's JR. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one. Peace.